There are things we assume we'll just do later in life. Columbus Cook says do not wait another day. He's a father of seven, businessman, U.S. Air Force Master Sergeant, but he put off the one thing he always really wanted to do until now. Facing death made him fully embrace life. Well, that was very fun. There are skills we practice, this, even master. Create something and express myself. But some talents are just given. Remember at age four that I was able to draw and not draw like a kid. People noticed Columbus Cook was a child with an extraordinary gift for art, a savant, they said, but he was made to feel bad about it, different than the other kids. It, it actually made me embarrassed, and so I was afraid to be out and communicate with the public using my fine artwork. He spent his entire life hiding his gift. I'd always work behind a closed door in the house. He grew up to have a family, served in Desert Storm. This one is in Grant Park by the zoo. Eventually, he did illustrations for architects, creating some of Atlanta's most recognizable places. But it wasn't the kind of art he loved most. I'll do it later, he'd say. When I had retired from the military, and then I could, you know, get out there, start expressing myself. Then he found out later was a luxury life would not offer him. When the brain cancer came up, it really just changed a whole lot of things. At that point, he did not recognize me by name, which was really painful. The tumor was growing so fast, and he was a little bit disoriented. Stage four brain cancer, so aggressive he had surgery the day after doctors found his tumor. But he had a complete moment of clarity where he said, if I make it to the other side, I promise you, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do art. I'm going to do what I was put here on earth to do. No more hiding his gift. No more dreams deferred. His friends helped build an art studio in the basement. This is my mother. It just kind of represents her. He started seeing the world in a different way. The Optune device. Columbus Cook wears this device 18 hours a day. It sends signals into his brain to confuse the cancer cells so they can't multiply as quickly. I can feel it now heating up. It buys time, more time, to embrace the freedom he found 50 years later to fully express himself. That's the part that I actually love about it. Art is his gift. Columbus says cancer is too. It's helped him see his life differently. Just never give up. Keep hoping and praying that opportunity, it is out there for you. It doesn't really matter whether you have 10 years or 10 days. What matters is how you spend that time. Columbus Cook says he'll use his gift for as much time as he's given. So much that I feel that I want to share with the rest of the world. After his brain surgery, Columbus had to relearn how to hold a pencil and write a simple letter. And look what he's been able to do over just a matter of months. On his bucket list now, a public art show. More for you on 11alive.com.